Hi, welcome to your practice. So we're going to start our practice today with our heart bed. So whether you're using a bolster like I am, which is a cushion that's the length of your spinal column, or maybe you have at home a tube that you can float on in the pool, makes a great support system with a couple of blankets wrapped around it, a pool noodle, or your mat rolled up. So whatever you have at home, go ahead and roll a couple of blankets wrapping around them. You can have your yoga blocks handy. And if you have a towel, you can make a waterfall pillow on the top by rolling it just a little bit, placing it on top of your support so that the back of your skull can come right on there. And then have a book or another yoga block placed right underneath the head of your bolster. And then bring your back up to all of that. So nestle your lower back right in and then unfurl the spine. Let the back of the skull rest and the arms come out to the side, knuckles heavy. Feel into your sit bones and notice the weight coming down into the mat. And when you can, close those beautiful eyes and notice how you feel. Let the knees remain bent and walk them a wee bit closer, hip distance apart, and a little closer to the sit bones. And just notice how that feels from your heels to your big toe to the baby toe. Let them play a wee bit. Give a little press into the heel. And notice if you can roll the sit bones up off of the floor and then lower a few times. So you press into the feet, lift, and then lower. Just notice how that sensation feels in the lower back, a little lift, lengthen towards the heels, and then lower. And maybe one more for good luck. And then heel toe your feet a little wider and let the inner knees knock. Feel into your lower spine and notice how that feels today. And if you need a little bit more support, this is a passive back bend that we're all in. So if your lower back feels like this is too much, you can go ahead and take another blanket and place it underneath the sit bones. So build the floor to you or leave the knees bent. Some of you might like to just let the legs splay outward, arms outward, as you just simply surrender. Ha! Ah, so noticing how you feel in this moment. As we start to close the doors to the outside world, those internal doors start to open. And what does that feel like to you? Can you feel that luxury of simply being you? Stay present, sensing that miracle of you, that vastness the beauty inside. Let that seep into every cell now, offering it a little attention before it demands it. Notice how you can relax a little bit more through the feet, up to the knees. 
a little more through that upper thigh all the way to the hips. Sweep all your attention, your awareness up the back body where you're supported to the shoulders, down through the arms to the fingertips. Notice the neck, relax a little more. All the have to's. Your to-do list has a veil over it. Notice how your body is breathing now. Is it in through the nose and out through the mouth? Or is it in and out through the nose? Without adjusting, just notice. There's no right or wrong here. As you notice how you breathe. And let's go ahead and set our attention. Our intention for our practice, our focal point. What is that for you? To amp up that light within? And what does that mean to you? To feel that warmth from the inside out, that kindness towards yourself that compassion, this ease, an effortless effort. Being kinder towards ourself is a great intention. So let's now bring all of our attention to our breath. Anchor it right there. Anchor it right into yourself. Feel the breath in through the nose and out through the mouth for a few cleansing breaths now. Deep inhale through the nose and then a as you exhale. Now in through the nose and out through the nose. Feel and sense your breath as we come into an ujjayi breath very softly. Ujjayi meaning victorious. That victorious sensation from the inside out now as we breathe in and out through the nose. And notice how that feels in your body. If it's not available, then you just leave it off to the side and come back and revisit it when you can. And notice if there's any subtle shifts. So we're calling in our, our playful self here as we practice together. Let's have some fun. So with that notion now of fanning the flames, on your next natural inhale, feel that inhale and follow it all the way down into the belly. Let the belly broaden and widen. And as you exhale, let your awareness float up, up, up to the top of the head. Inhale, carry your awareness down into the belly. Let it broaden and widen. And as you exhale, feel the awareness gently float up, 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 maybe to that star, that lightness right above the crown. Inhaling all the way down, just a little deeper now into the earth star just below. Gathering that earthiness as you exhale and allow and feel the sensations all the way up, up, up as we align. Inhale, float your awareness down the body. 
Notice what you feel. And as you exhale all the way up, and where does it go to? Take your attention as you inhale down. Exhale all the way up above the crown. Notice how you feel for just a handful more here. Connect to that inner grin, that sattva, that bliss. It just feels good to breathe here together as we come into our alignment. And what does that feel like in you? So how about two more just like as you exhale, just like this, all the way up. And as you inhale, fan those flames of the heart, of the belly, that furnace. And then one more here. Inhale, float the awareness down, down, down into the belly. Let it broaden. Exhale, all that breath up, up, up. And then go ahead and relax and soften and notice the effects of your pranayama, your breath work. What does that feel like? Can you feel into those subtleties, those subtle sensations in the body? Do you feel clear, focused? Can you feel that ease and effortlessness in the body? A nice full deep breath in. A nice full deep breath out. This expansion of the lungs. We're going to come into that a little more. And so the focus of our practice, amping up the light within through our breath. We're going to do that in, in the next flow as well. So how about one more breath right here? Notice how you feel. And if the legs are splayed right out, go ahead and bend one knee and notice the muscles responsible for this action come to work and play together. They'll relax. And then the next, bend the other knee. Feel the muscles responsible. Heel toe the feet. Wherever you are, closer, hip distance apart. And then let the legs gently come on over to one side. Come into your forearm on this side and come all the way up. What we're laying on, bring it sideways up to your hip. You can take the blanket off or you can unfold it right on top. So take your time. You might want to leave the block or the book right where it is. Just move it back and take that bottom hand and draw a line all the way up as you fold over your bolster, like a half moon shape. The head can come down onto the shoulder. If that doesn't feel comfortable, take that book or block behind you and share the workload. Let the head come into that block. You can have it on medium, you can have it on small, large, whatever feels delicious here. Leave the other hand right on the top edge here and notice how you feel. And then when you're ready, let the arm, that top arm come up as you breathe, like the pump to the breath, and then lower as you breathe. Feeling and sensing the breath, the length, the fullness, 
And then close those beautiful eyes when you can, so that you can sense and feel from the inside out now. Inhaling and exhaling, feeling the length of your breath. in this half moon shape. As we amp up that internal fire, fanning the flames of that internal flame. Option to bend that bottom elbow. So bend that arm so the hand comes up. As the top hand comes over, Go ahead and clasp a hold of the forearm, maybe closer to the hand for some of you. There's no perfect place. Just find and and adjust and notice as you breathe. So whether you're moving continually or you pause here, adding just a little bit of traction to that upper half. Let the body breathe. Eyes are closed. Inhale, feel into this shape. Let it expand. And as you exhale, enjoy the descent as you pour yourself into the shape just a little more. A handful more. Relax and soften. And then one more breath, just like that. And if you're in stillness, let that top arm come up and let it lower. Press yourself up. And let your forearms come into the bolster, just like we're hanging out, looking forward. And see if your lower back, you can um, inchworm, inchworm it down so that when you lift one leg and then the other, you can gently hammock from one side to the other. A little bit of a rotation. Almost like happy baby. Chin to chest, eyes are closed, and you can sense and feel the lower back receiving a nice little massage. Like happy baby, you can move the legs, a little roll of the foot, lengthen, a little roll. Notice how you feel. Maybe both feeling and sensing your body, noticing how you feel you're doing it right. The gift is this. That's the blessing right here. So stay present, sensing and feeling the miracle of you. And then we'll come on over to the other side when you're ready. So go ahead and bring the feet down and just bring yourself all the way over to the other side. I don't want to bring my back to you, so I'll set up a little differently. But you can bring your back to me in the comfort of your own home. (laughs) So draw, go ahead and bring the um, bolster cushion up to your hip. Draw a line with that lower arm. But on this side, if there's any um, discomfort or pain, that's not an option. You can bring the arm parallel, head down onto your block or cushion, whatever you have there. But if it feels delicious to keep it, then please do. The head can lay on the shoulder, the upper arm, once the, you have this shape and it feels pretty good, then go ahead and let yourself rest with the eyes closed. 
And then when you're ready, that upper arm can float up as you breathe. Feel the grace in your breath. Notice how the shoulders feel. Each breath feeling into under the arm, pit area, the rib cage expanding. A little more each breath. Fanning the flames of the heart like this, the lungs that are intimately related. Give yourself permission to stay here moving like this or go ahead and bend that bottom elbow. The hand is waiting for the top arm to come on in and capture the lower arm by the wrist, adding a little traction or closer to the elbow, whatever suits your body today. Go ahead and breathe and feel into that top edge. Expanding lengthening, and then that bottom edge, a beautiful hug from the hip all the way through the rib cage. Each breath you feel from the inside out. Notice what you feel. Let yourself relax a little more in this shape. And how about two more breaths just like that? Enjoy this next inhale, nice and full and deep. Exhaling it all out. On your next natural breath, go ahead and lift that upper arm lower. Go ahead and come all the way down to the mat. So you're going to move your bolster, move your block, and then come all the way down to your back. And just notice how you feel. The knees can remain bent if you've had some discomfort in that lower back. You might want to sway the knees from side to side. And then go ahead and feel for a moment. Maybe one leg can lengthen a little paddle. Notice that lower spine. And maybe the other. Just noticing this lower spinal area. Right out to the outer hips. So if you've been doing a lot of shoveling snow or you've been bending down, um, mucking up your, your barns and doing all all kinds of work, just noticing that area. Then all the way through the legs to the toes, give them a little dance of joy. And then all the way now through the legs, notice one leg and then the other. Is one laying on the floor, feeling a little fuller, a little heavier. And the other one feels light, effervescence. Or are they similar? And then notice the sit bones. Is, are there an evenness there? Then the lower back, notice the width and how far you're off the mat all the way into the thoracic spine, right behind the heart center, the sternum area. 
and then fan your awareness, your inner eyes, broad and wide to the back of the shoulders and notice one side, the other, is it even? Are you taking up plenty of space now that we've countered all that forward action with that long held back bend laying draped over our bolsters? Go ahead and rock the back of the skull and feel the tipping spot of the skull. Notice the weight coming down into that place of the back of the skull and come into stillness and move to the middle of the brain where you think that it is. With the eyes closed, take the physical eyes and look up and notice that that sensation and then relax that effort and breathe into where that sensation was. Notice if there's any patterns of light, a brightening. Send it some love, some peace. Just like we just entered the middle of the brain with a candle, holding a candle right there, lighting it up, flickering. Sending it some compassion, some kindness. Let it flicker for one more breath. And then go ahead and bend up one knee at a time. Feel the rest of the body work in unison. And share that workload. And then feel that foot press into the floor while the other knee bends. And then relax and soften with both knees bent. We're going to come into a gentle somatic flow called compass. So compass is a really nice um, flow if you have any um, exhaustion, deep-seated exhaustion any stress. It's one of my favorites if my body has been really stressed out. Burning the candles at both ends, late nights, early mornings. So go ahead and interlace the fingers, lace them right up, and place that little nest right behind the back of the skull. Let the elbows rest. If this isn't available, one hand will do, or no hands. If you don't have the hands behind the head, then please don't lift the head. You can visualize all of that and receive. We call that a miracle moment. <laughs> so go ahead and press into both feet and press them away from the body and let the tail Gently curl up and then let it lower and then drag the feet without moving towards you and feel the arcing of the spine, chin towards the ceiling, elbows down. Like we're tilting the, and flattening the pelvis. Just feel this now for a moment. Super slow. So if the tail was 6 o'clock and the navel was 12 o'clock, the top of the pelvis, as you find that next inhale, the tail will gently come down. And as you exhale in the navel, you'll flatten. And you might even notice that the tail curls up. And how about one more just like that? Feeling into your pelvis, rolling from one side to the other. And then pause.
Just notice effects of your efforts. Then take a deep inhale and arc. And as you exhale and flatten, send the tail up, press into both feet and roll the spine all the way up, up, up. And then roll it all the way down from the top of the spinal come coming in first, the middle, and then the tail. Then you'll arc and then go ahead and roll the tail up first. It takes deep dedication to roll in and out of this one. Head isn't participating. Upper body is not participating. It's anchoring us down. So how about one more? Press into both feet. Let the tail come up first. And as you come down through the top of the spine, one vertebrae at a time, let it lower. And then rest. Take a deep inhale. A deep exhale. One more just like that. A deep inhale. A deep exhale. Then take a nice inhale and arc. And as you exhale, let the tail guide the way up, press into both feet and lift. Pause there and lift the head. And then let the tail come down in one piece. Head and hands, second. Notice what you feel. Take a deep inhale. Maybe on the exhale, just a light little lift of the pelvis up. Head comes up second. Elbows towards each other, chin to chest. Then the pelvis comes down first. Head second. You can pause there for a breath, two or three. Or let's continually go ahead and come on into it. Press into both feet and let the pelvis come up to any height. Head comes up second. Elbows might come to each other. Tail comes down first. Head second. Then relax. And then one more time. Pelvis comes up first. Head and hands second. Elbows might come to each other. Pelvis comes down. Head and hands second. Let your arms come down. Heel toe your feet wide. Inner knees will knock like a lean to. Let them lean into each other. And notice how you feel. Knuckles heavy. Eyes are closed. Sense from the outer heels to the outer knees to the outer hips. From one hip flowing all the way to the other hip. Feel that area of the hips right where it's touching the floor. From this area, scan to the shoulders, to the back of the skull. A little rock right there. Sensing the tipping spot of the skull. And then you'll pause. Feed your attention, your awareness to the center of the brain. And notice the flicker of the candle. And what does that feel like as you breathe? Can you feel the coolness seeping in of the breath? The quiet. The stillness the calm, the compassion, and this kindness towards yourself. One more breath, just like that. And then from here, we're going to come into um, bringing our pelvis up on a block. So go ahead and roll over to your side. And if you haven't done this before, you might want to watch. First, you'll need a strap 
or if you have a scarf at home, you can go ahead and grab that now and have that right down by your side, either your yoga strap or a scarf. And then you can use a yoga block for under your pelvis or simply a folded blanket will do. So you can use an encyclopedia or whatever. Maybe your bolster might be um, right there. So this is a practice. So let yourself find where it just feels good. And then if you have a yoga block, place it on your belly. Those of you that have been in my classes know that I bring everything to the party. So if you have your, your yoga block, place it right on the belly. Your strap, unfurl it right over the belly. So you have everything that you need right here. Then the eyes can close. And if you're not using a, a yoga block, um, it's not really appropriate to put something heavy on the belly. So have it close by so that you can just place it over on your side. So we'll lay on our backs just like we were. Knees are bent. Walk the feet in towards the sit bones, hip distance apart. Take a deep inhale when you can. And as you exhale, send the back of the shoulders down into the mat and press into the length of the arms to the fingertips and hold that press. Then press into the heels, big toe, baby toe, and let the pelvis curl up, 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 just high enough to take whatever you have there underneath the pelvis. Or if you have a block, go ahead and bring that right underneath the sacrum. And so the sacrum is four to five fused bones right at the base of your spine. And if you're wondering where that is, you'll take your tracing fingers, right, um, your first finger, right on the iliac crest. So the top of your pelvis, draw a line down, and then you'll be touching your block, your blanket, or your bolster, whatever you have on underneath there and it should feel good so it's on bone it's not in your lower back it's right here with your heavy pelvis right down on top and just notice how that feels notice one side and the other from there rock the back of the skull we're in an inversion where the belly is over the heart the heart is over the sinuses. So we're going to encourage a little bit more length through the cervical spine of the neck by rocking the from one side to the other very softly. So feel into, once again, the back of the skull, the tipping spot. And like it's walking up a ladder. Notice how it lengthens. It becomes nice and long, like an antennae. All the way up, up, up. Let it lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And then you'll pause in that length. Anchoring down through the back of the skull. Chin is a little closer to the chest. From here, go ahead and let one leg gently come up. Thigh towards the belly. Take the elbows in towards your torso. Hands in the direction of the thighs to receive, and then the other. The inner big toes can tap, let them touch, and feel the shin bone parallel with the ceiling, or you can lower it if that feels like it's too much. So find the place where you'd like to be, and then rock from one side to the other. Notice the hands on the thighs. Notice the friction in the hands, the back of the pelvis, a light little self-massage here.
We're going to come into that massage just a little more. So bring the legs into the center, flex the feet, let the heels guide the way upward. And then a little tick-tock from side to side. Notice how you feel. Notice the back of the legs. This is a heart helper. Any inflammation, any stagnation in the ankles, the knees, the hips. We encourage this to find its way out. And then come into the center and a light little circle. So let the heels draw away over to one side. Let it come forward over to the other side and then back away. So a little bit of a circle here. Notice on the back of the pelvis how this feels. Can you feel all the corners of the sacrum now? Meaning sanctuary, our holy bone. And then what is it like to go the other direction? So yes, we are moving through our core and it might be heating the body up just a wee bit here. I place this in our practice today to feel the back of our pelvis. And then you'll pause in the center, let the knees bend and send the left leg down, leave the right one up, take the strap, this is where you're, you're going to, all you farmers and horse people, you're going to lasso that foot. So go ahead and lasso that foot. Bring the strap onto where the toe mounds, that meaty part under the toes, a half moon shape right there. Your transverse arch. Knee can have a generous bend in in. in in your knee, <laughs> and the thigh can be away from the belly. So it never has to look like anyone else. So please don't think you have to look like anyone else. And then reach for the toes. The strap can come between the thumb and the first finger. And then go ahead and smooth that out until the elbows touch the floor with a curved plunk, widen through the fingers and then go ahead and clasp the strap so that the elbows now are off the floor like weights. Bend the knee more, bring the baby toe edge of the foot into the strap, and then lengthen through the knee like a yawn. Remember, pain is not an option. So if this is painful, stay on the other side of pain. So where you feel some deep sensation, but no burning, and no electrical currents running through. So a little bend of the knee in between from one edge of the foot, you lengthen like a yawn and then you bend in between over to the other edge of the foot. And you might notice the toe edge comes in quite naturally, big toe edge, you press through that mound at the bot base. And how about one more? for good luck. And then you'll pause with a, a nice bend of that knee. Feel the arms now. We're gonna come into a swaying branch. So that top leg here is going to sway outward. Bottom knee can sway outward. And then carry that top leg inward over the navel center. That bent knee can come behind. Nice and slow, fluid-like. 
Feel the smoothness of the hips, the breath, and all the details. The arms doing most of the work. One elbow might come down while the other one comes up off of the floor. Noticing those details. And what is the head doing? Let it follow the toes, those upper toes. Let it rock and roll from one side to the other. Eyes are closed when you can. So you can sense all this from the inside out now. And how about one more just like that? And then come into that stacking quality where the heel is over the knee, knee over the hip. And then switch, bring the other leg up. It'll take its place, but leave the right one up, but out from the strap now. Feel the inner knees. The big toes, the inner big toes, press the inner big, the inner knees towards each other, and then bend that right leg. But now you'll feel the inner knees press. That right heel will come downward and then down to the floor with ease. Then reach up for those left toes. Let the fingers play the piano. Let them twinkle with light. And then grab a hold of the strap between the first finger and the thumb. Smooth it out until the elbows could plunk onto the floor. Widen through the fingers. Wrap them in the strap. And then bend that top knee. Roll to the baby toe edge. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen like a yawn, and then bend. Press through the big toe mound, and then bend that knee. You might be doing not as many as I'm suggesting, or you might even be going a little quicker. You might want to visualize this whole part. Wherever you're at, perfect. Just notice how you feel. If you're breathing, you're doing it right. Feeling a little something, perfect. So how about one more feeling the edge of that foot pressed, a little bend of the knee and the other edge of the foot. And then playfully, the leg is a branch. It just sways outward. The bottom knee sways over and outward. Feel the arms do most of the work as you carry it over that navel center and that bottom knee comes behind. So notice how you feel. Notice the smoothness on this side, any sticky parts. Any places that are a little bumpy, just notice, send it your breath. And then what is the head doing on this side? Let it follow that top leg. Let it rock and roll from one side to the other, feeling the back of the skull. And if the mind starts to wander, notice all the details. One arm coming up off of the floor and the other one anchoring down. And how does that back of the leg feel? Outer hips. 
inner thigh. And how about one more breath, just like this. Then come into that stacking quality where the left ankle is over the knee, knee over hip. Reach the fingers towards the toes. Take the strap off, one hand behind that knee. Take the strap down and then go ahead and bring the, the calf down onto those fingers and reach out through the right leg and paddle those right toes. Leave the heel on the floor and feel now the arcing of the body like this. And then pause and twirl the toes, the left toes around the ankle. Let them circle. Two or three, one way. And just notice what it's like to go the other way. The top of the foot, the arch. And then switch. Bring the right leg in. Take your time. Other, the hands come behind that knee, interlace. Or some of you might thread the strap behind the knee to lengthen the arms. You might even um, want some more fabric. You can fold it a few times. So wherever you're at, perfect. And then lengthen through that other leg. Leave the heel on the floor and paddle those toes back and forth. You might even notice the body move. A little sway. One more breath just like that. And then you'll pause that effort. And the right toes will start to circle around the ankle. Notice the sounds, the sensations. And then what is the other direction like? Can you feel that more in the arch, the top of the foot? And how about one more breath, just like that? Then go ahead and drag that left heel till you that knee is bent. Place the foot beside. Both knees are bent now. Strap can come on over to the side. Arms by your side. Find your breath. On your next inhale, feel that inhale. As you exhale, send the back shoulders down into the floor and hold. Press into the length of the arms, hold. The heels press, big toe to baby toe, and just hover the pelvis over the block and take the block right out, whatever you have under there, take it right out and leave the pelvis hovering here. And just notice the back of the pelvis for a moment. And on your exhale, roll from the top of the spine, lower spine, all the way down. Take your bolster that you um, had earlier and bring that over to your left hip. Bring it right over to your left hip lengthways. And then from here, the leg that's closest to it, your left leg will come nice and long. Leave your right knee bent now. We're going to come into um, a nice spinal twist here. So go ahead and bring the right thigh towards the belly and then over to the bolster. So you might wanna scooch that bottom hip so that you can feel the, the hip over hip in this one. Just let that be that sensation and just notice that. And then reach that top arm, right arm reaches up above the crown. 
let it settle on the floor and come on over to that right side. It might lengthen or you can keep it in a cactus shape. Head rolls in that general direction or the nose can point to the ceiling or towards the knees, the toes of that top right leg. Left hand can anchor onto that right leg, holding it, anchoring it, or maybe it feels better on the belly. Wherever you are, deep breaths here. Notice how you feel. Some deep inhales and deep exhales. Notice a targeted area in your body. And where can you relax everywhere else? Relax the jaw, let it slacken. Sense and feel that deep relaxation starts to pour through the shoulders like a weight. Down, down through the rib cage. The hips become a little heavier. The legs filled with red clay, nice and heavy. The soles of the feet soft as you receive. And two more breaths, just like this. Enjoy that next exhale. As you find your next inhale, let the right arm come down, roll onto your back. Hug that right leg into the belly, thigh towards the belly, and then place both feet into the floor. Take your bolster up over to the other side. Lengthen through that leg. Take the left thigh towards the belly, a light little hug, and then go ahead and bring it over into the bolster or whatever you have there. Let it lay right on top. And it might feel like one hip is directly right over the other hip. Take the left arm up above the crown and then let it come on over to the other side. So it can lengthen below the shoulder or maybe you keep it in a cactus shape. The head can come into that direction or nose towards ceiling or towards that top leg. Take the right hand and anchor that top leg, that left leg down. Or maybe for you, it feels better to bring that onto the belly and feel into your breath. Let the belly soften. Notice the targeted area in your body in this shape. Send it some breath like it has its own lung. And then see if you can relax everywhere else. Relax through the jaw. Feel that deep relaxation start to pour in through the shoulders. Pour downward through the rib cage as it becomes heavier. Through the pelvis as it becomes a weight. 
Let the muscles around the sit bones let go and broaden and widen. The legs filled with red clay as the muscles loosen their grip. The soles of the feet receiving, receiving, receiving. Let yourself rest here. Where can you relax a little bit more? And two more breaths just like that. Enjoy that next exhale as you pour yourself into this shape just a little bit more. As you inhale, go ahead and roll onto your back body. Knees are bent. Heel toe your feet wide so the inner knees can knock. Hands can rest on the lower belly like a weight. So you can feel now through the palms, through the digestive tract, all the way into the floor. Notice that sensation. From the back of the pelvis to the outer knees, to the ankles. All the way through that rib cage to the shoulders, to the center of the brain. Notice the flicker of light. Each breath, can you feel the breath fan the flames? That internal light. This constant light. And one more breath, just like that. Then go ahead and roll to your side. Take your bolster behind you. Just like we started, you'll take a book or a yoga block right underneath the head. You might have a blanket on top and you'll need an extra blanket for this one. So if you have an extra blanket, go ahead and grab that now and then unfold it. We're gonna use it like a rope. We're going to come into Sukta Baddha Konasana. So that means um, our soles of our feet. So cobbler pose, the soles of your feet will be uh, towards each other, but not yet. So I told you that, that because some of you might want some blocks or extra supports by your side. So go ahead and roll this blanket into a great big long ropey type thing. And with the knees bent right in front of you, soles of the feet on the floor, take the um, blanket right in front of the ankles and then wrap, bring one above and one below, tighten it up and let the soles of the feet come together at that point. And then take the rest of the, the um, blanket and tuck it in um, below the calf and on the edges, outer edges from here. Take your support right into that lower back and unfurl. Let yourself come back. 
If you need your blocks or any more support, you might need it right on the outer edges of the legs for some of you. For some of you, it might feel like heaven on earth to have it right underneath the elbows, the hands, so that you can really feel like, ha, oh, I can just let go here. And then once you feel that you can just let go, let the eyes close and notice how you feel. Bright light meditation. This is like a nidra for your body. So I'll make some suggestions and you can follow. And just notice how you feel. Nidra, yogic sleep. Take some long, deep breaths now. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Let go of all your thoughts as you come to that place where it just feels good. Enjoy the waves of the breath and invite deep relaxation everywhere. Every exhale, relax head to toe. Now bring that awareness to the top of the head. Imagine a very bright light. And from the top of the head, there's an aperture opening that magnifies that bright light that reaches up into the sky and beyond. Imagine you can focus on that light at the top of the head into a sphere. Picture a big ball, very powerful, strong, healing, warm light. And now see that light streaming down the left side of the brain. And this side representing understanding, divine understanding. Feel into the contrast of the other side that starts to light up now, representing wisdom. Let that light fill the entire head. Imagine this light can flow into all those dark places, sending healing, relaxing beams of light that pulse and flicker. Each breath, the light flows downward into the neck, into the throat, down through that left shoulder and let that light fill up that left arm all the way into the fingers. Feel the light pulse with a bright healing light. Feel that light spread now across the heart center, the chest, pouring into the other side, the shoulder, the arm, as it starts to stream downward all the way into the fingers. And now feel both arms all the way to the fingertips filled with beautiful, intense light. The light pulses seeping now into the torso swirling around the heart, the belly, into the intestinal organs, causing deep 
relax soft tissue. Let this light fill the entire back body as it starts to wave, flowing through layer upon layer of muscle, tissue, and bones. The light moves effortlessly up and down the spinal column. Descending into the hips. Soothing each joint. The light starts to penetrate, comforting, protecting. Down to that cellular level. Let the hips grow that light stronger now. Filling into the thighs, in and around those beautiful knees, comforting deeply as the light starts to move downward, the lower legs, the ankles, the bottoms of the feet, all the way to the tips of the toes start to relax a little bit more. Now imagine the entire body filled with this deep, penetrating, bright light radiating down into the earth. You connect with Mother Earth as you ground. And this earthiness now rebounds upward into the body. This beautiful, earthy brightness starts to grow from the feet. Drawing up, up, up to the crown as you connect to the light above. Each breath draws up from the earth power and strength. Each breath draws down from above wisdom and understanding. Let yourself rest here. If this feels delicious to stay like this, please do. Or you can undo the feet. Let the legs come outward. Use the blanket as a blanket on top and come into your Shavasana. Let yourself rest. If it feels good to rest on the bolster, please do or come to your side. Take the bolster underneath the legs so that you can drape them right over. And you can have your spinal column flat, back your head flat. Some of you might want a cushion underneath the head. That's perfect. Some of you might want something over the eyes. Maybe your your um, strap, your scarf, whatever feels good. And then let yourself rest just like that. Notice the effects of your practice. Relax through the eyes just a little bit more. The muscles around the eyes soften. And as those muscles around the eyes soften, the jaw will slacken. Notice how you feel as you relax that little bit more through the shoulders. Downward, the hips, the legs. Notice how it feels. Come back to your intention to amp up that internal light. And how do we do this? 
by staying present. Sense this miracle that's you. This vastness on the inside, this beauty. This gift of life. Take this moment and relax into that. Those of you that would like to close your practice exactly where you are, please do. So give yourself permission to stay where you are. Those of you who'd like to move the body and come up to a seated position, go ahead and start to move through the fingers and the toes. A long stretch. Slowly you bend one knee at a time. A little rock from side to side of the legs. Until you roll onto one side. Feel that side. Use your lower arm as a pillow. And that psychic hand that comes to pat you on the back, wherever you are for simply showing up and giving yourself this gift of presence. As you connect to that inner grin, your sattva, that bliss, feel the corners of your mouth curl up. Use that to press into the floor. Let the head remain heavy. As you roll the torso up first, the head will come propped right up, has a privilege right at the top, to balance. Find your comfortable seat. Your knees don't have to bend. You can sit yourself up on a perch. Maybe a chair feels better. The wall's a beautiful thing. Please lean into it. Feel comforted here. 
And then notice now the spinal column truly like an antennae coming up, 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 like walking up a staircase on the front of the spine all the way up through the palate, through the crown. Bring the palms together and feel that warmth, that beautiful appreciation towards yourself. Take the thumbs and press it right into the sternum, the heart center, and feel that support. Take a breath into it. And then a light little bow as we pour this goodness, this loving kindness out beyond these walls to all. Namaste. And thank you for your practice.